How y'all doing? That's okay. I'm good. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Welcome to blog number seven. Entitled, What Is It That You Like? You do it. You got to ask yourself, when was the last time you did something for yourself? I don't mean like take yourself out to eat or treat yourself to something like that. But I'm talking about just look at your everyday living. When was the last time you did something for yourself? Instead of doing it for I'm people. thinking about back when I was in high school, I had some homeboys I used to hang out with named Mark Shuler, we called him Ice. Terrence McClain, we called him C. Letherio Ziegler, we called him Zig. LaDon Williams, we called him Crush. Those are my boys. And we grew up in this area called Roosevelt Gardens, which we called ourselves the Harden Garden Posse. And we were sneaker fanatics. All we did was wear sneakers, dress a certain way all, t all the time. That's all we sneakers. did because sneakers, sneakers was our thing. That's all we did. We got to this point where that's all we cared about was sneakers. We used to rock the, uh, what we used to rock? The Barclays, the Dunks, the Sacconis, the Spot Bills, Pumas, Shell Toy Adidas, uh, anything, man. The British Nikes, Bally's. I mean, that was just our thing. We, you know, we stayed up on the latest fashions. And I remember how we was just, the starter jackets came out. We was just, we was always trying to keep up on all the latest fashions. That was so just back our thing. then, New York was was like the tall. Like everybody wanted to be from New York. Everybody had that, that swag. You know, you want, everybody wanted to talk like, yo, you know what I'm saying, son? You know, that was just the thing right then. If you was from New York, you was, you was cool. So everybody from New York. So when the summertime come, everybody's trying to go to New York. So when they come back down south, they'd be like, yo, I was in New York for the summer, and this is what they rocking. You know, that's how we was you know, when you doing get older, it back you, then. You still care about fashion, but you're not a fanatic like you was when you was in high school. It's not, you know, a real big thing to try to keep up, you know, with the fashion. But still, at the, at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, what is it that you like about yourself? What did you do for yourself? Because clearly we go out here and we... And, and we wear these clothes because the world is wearing them. We dress a certain way because the world is dressing a certain way. And that makes us feel like we're accepted and, and we are a part of something. Because we're, when people see us, they're like, oh, you got the new so-and-so. Just makes us feel good about ourselves. So now when I look at the, the young kids coming up and everybody getting all bent out of shape, saying, oh, look how they need to pull their pants up, they need to do this, they need to do that. But people fail to realize that. When we was young, everybody had an era of fashion. The fashion that they may have right now may not be to everybody's liking, but it's still a fashion. And everybody had a fashion era when they was coming up, and it didn't seem so silly then when you were doing it. It wasn't until later in life when you look back and you say, wow, look at us. Even like right now, if you take a picture with what you have on right now. You know, look at me. Look what I have on. Look at the scully cap. I got on this shirt that got the little stripe in it that matched my hat. You know, and you go all the way down and you see I got on the old school Tim's. You know, that's just me. You know, but you know, I take a picture of myself today. Maybe five years from now, I look back at this picture and be like, what in the heck did I have on? What is that thing on my head? You know, and that's just how. How things are. As you get older, you look back at some of the stuff you did, and you be like, "Wow, well, you know, it was what it was. That's what we were." I was and speaking I, and to I like some it. teens one day at an event, a room full of teens, and I just asked them all. I said, "If you could have the car of your dreams right now for free, what kind of car?" Would Everybody you drive? hand went up. Sir, what would you drive? I asked. He said, "A Maserati." Somebody else said a Bentley. Somebody, I heard a BMW, I heard a Porsche, I heard a Ferrari. I heard all these cars. They was calling out all these big, major said, cars. okay, you got this car, and everything is good from this point on, because you got this, the car of your dreams. I said, now, let's say now, with that same scenario, once you get this car, God removes everybody off earth but you. Now, how important is this car to you? And whoa. The looks they had on their faces. 
I mean, they had some looks on their faces like, what do you mean? He removed everybody off her. I said, is this car important to you now? They was like, no. Then you look at it, I was like, wow. All before you had to have this car. Now that there's nobody to see you in it, it's not important. And I let you know that now that half of the stuff that we dream about and, and wish for and would like to have, it's only because we just want to be seen. But you don't really understand the love right now because all you understand is fun, fun, excitement. And BET and all these videos that I got from you, which I think your life is really about. See this watch I got on right here? Yeah. $10,000. You might want it? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's how life lies to you. This watch is $60. <laughs> because clearly, when we're trying to make a fashion statement. We're dressing for the world. We're dressing and we're wearing what the world is wearing right now. This is what's in. This is the new style. This is what they're wearing. That's what I saw on BET. I saw this on MTV. The award show, they was rocking this. Uh, Ava, Ava, uh, Oprah had this on the, f her favorite things. And they tend to make us go out and, and do all and buy all these things because we want to be a part of what's happening right now. We don't want to be considered old school or someone that's that's you know so lost that that's out of touch with what's what's Before happening I right gave now. my life to God I was thinking about all the stuff that I didn't want to give up man I ain't want to give up the women I ain't want to give up uh, you know the street life all the stuff that I was doing I was like man before I go to God I got to I got to get rid of some of the stuff that I'm doing I'm doing too much stuff to go stand before the father telling him to save me you're not gonna save nobody like me that's what you know that's what I was thinking but when I gave my life to God, I realized that, you know, everything is a process, that everything doesn't happen overnight. So when I gave my life to God, and a couple of months later, I ran to one of my homeboys, and, and he was like, what you been up to? So I let him know, hey, you know, I gave my life to God, and this is what I've been doing lately. You know, I've been going from church to church, ministering the gospel, and I'm sitting there trying to tell him some things, you know, what was going on in my life. So he listened to me, and he was like, yeah, he would come to church with me sometime. So anyway, fast forward, after that day, I didn't hear from him for probably about, a, you know, eight, nine months. And I just ran into him one day. He said, man, you still doing the God thing? I was like, yep, still doing the God thing. And he was like, um, so we just sitting there. He said, man, I dig it deep. Some, sometimes, man, I be, I be going through some things and, and things just be, you know, and I be going through a lot of situations, man. And, and I know that, you know, I need to go ahead and give my life to God, man. But, you know, I just can't give up this stuff. I said, well... I said, well, what is it you don't want to give up? And he was just honest with you. He said, man, these women, this liquor, this partying. And I was like, wow. I said, well, I said, man, I can understand that because, you know, those are some of the things that I didn't want to give up myself. So I asked him, I said, man, are, are, are you happy right now? He said, not, not really. I said, why aren't you happy? He said, I, I don't know. He said, man, I'm just not happy. I said, well, let me ask you something. Right now, you have all the women that you want, right? And he was like, yeah. I said, you have the liquor that you like, right? He was like, yeah. I said, you get to go to the club anytime you want to go. He was like, yeah. And I said, and you're still unhappy? He said, yeah, I don't know why. I said, well, clearly, you not. if this stuff, if you have all the stuff that you want, that you said that you, you don't want to give up, and you have them right now, and you're still unhappy... So what is this stuff doing for you? What is this woman doing for you? What is this liquor doing for you? What is these clubs doing for you? If you're still unhappy. Now, if you have these things and, you, and you're happy and you don't want to give them up because they're making you happy, now that's a whole other situation. But if you have these things that you don't want to give up, but yet you're still unhappy, then you need to start trying to make a decision about your life is what I told them. Because there's no way I don't want to, it's like, it's like being in a bad relationship, you know it's the worst thing for you, but then you keep telling yourself, I can't live without this person. And that's clearly what he's going through. It's like he knows that this women, this liquor, and this beer and all this stuff is, is not good for him, but he don't want to give it up. But then he tell me, he said, man, you know, and then these people, these cats in the streets, man, I don't be wanting people to, you know, be... They're going to be talking crazy because, you know, you know, I done gave my life to God. And they're going to be talking all crazy about, yeah, this dude, blah, blah, blah. I was like, wow, man. As something as, a, as an important decision is that 
we're going to worry about what somebody else got Even to say. when it's time to make decisions in life. Most of the time, the decisions you make not really your decision. Because you're making a decision based on other people. What what this person would think if, if, if I go this way. But then they might think this if I go another way. So your decision is not really your decision. Because your decision is based on what you think. How people are going to receive the answer that you have. Or what you come up with. Or what you decide. So even your beliefs not really your belief. Because your, your beliefs is based on somebody else's belief. Your opinion is based on someone else's opinion. Someone said something that sounded good to you and you ran with it. What is it about you? What do you think? What's going on with you? And most of the time, we don't even know. We just exist in this world. What is it that you like? What is it that you want? What do you want to become? What do you want? Not what mommy and daddy uh, want you to be. But what is it that you like? What do you want? Because I believe most of us are going around um, in life right now so unhappy because we have been pursuing things or doing things other people wanted to see us do. And even though we may have become successful at it, we're still unhappy. And I think that's a bad place to be in life where you are successful and unhappy. I can almost understand why somebody that's not successful or, or still striving um, is unhappy. I can almost understand that. But for someone that to have it all but yet be unhappy. And I think that it's even on a big scale, on a small scale, we got to learn to start doing something. I just want wanted this to be an awareness to us and all of the things that we do that we'll look around each other and we'll say, wow, that is me. I don't never really think for myself. I don't really do what I want to do Some people are in a relationship that you go with this person want to go, you eat with this person want to eat at, you go watch what movie this person want to watch, you do everything for this other person. What do you do for you? We're talking about trying to get happy. What is it that you do? Like, what do what you, you like? want to do with your life? We spend too much time trying to compete, be what the world wants us to be, and it's killing us. It's killing us. Because half of the time, you don't even want to be in the spotlight. You don't want the attention that certain things bring, but... Something inside you makes you feel like, hey, I want to belong to I think something. most of us has got to that point in life, we don't even know what we like. Because we have, we are too busy trying to, to do what everybody else likes. Or what we think everybody else wants to see us do. We don't even know what we like. All we do is just wake up every day and, and turn on TV to see what's going on, read these magazines. And then we go out and try to imitate these things. What is it that you like about yourself? What is it that you want to do with your life? What is it that, that you like? When you look at the people around you, everything that you do most of the time is for the people that's around you. People in your inner circle. Or, or, because or people even the, the way world. you dress and all of the things that you do most of the time, you do them for other people. You get up and you make sure your hair is done so you step out the house so you can look good for people. Because when you're at home and you walk around your house, you really don't care what you look like most of the time. It's like, I'm at home, I'm kicking back, this is me. And we like to say that, well, this is me. But then when you get outside, when it's time to leave out the house, you got to become somebody else because you want to be accepted by people. Now, I'm not saying you should leave your house and just look any kind of way, but I'm just saying is that everything that you do in your life shouldn't be depicted on what you think people is going to think about you. Some things you're just going to have to do because you want to do them for yourself. Point blank period. You're not going to be able to make everybody happy. Everybody's not going to be in your corner. Everybody's not going to share your thoughts. Everybody's not going to share your, your feelings. Everybody's not going to just be there for you. But at the same time, you're going to have to make conscious decisions sometimes. Say, hey, I got to do something for myself. I got to so make you, myself when you, happy. When you're at school or college or high school or wherever you're at, and you say, hey, I want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of that just so I can be accepted by people. And most of the time, you want to be accepted by people that have less than you, that have way less going on than you have going on. And we got to start standing up for what we believe in. You know, look at how you dress right now. Just look at, look at your shoes, look at your outfit, look what you have on. Say, is this me? Is this how I really want to look? Do something for yourself. Do something for yourself. Do something for yourself. If you don't hear nothing else in this blog, do something for yourself. Do something for yourself. Thank y'all. Deuces.